welcome to Total Evelyn. In today's video, I'm going to be chatting about feeling slightly disappointed that I didn't get to go to Dubai this year. Join me after this short break and we'll chat about disappointment. See you real soon. Hey guys, welcome back to Total Evelyn. And in today's video, trying to keep excited, trying to accept that the plans have been ruined. <laughs> well, it's no secret, I don't think anymore, that I was planning to go to Dubai. I've been offered, well, an opportunity, not a job, self-employed. So I've been offered opportunities in the past to work in other countries and never taken the plunge because maybe I was feeling slightly scared. Maybe I was not as brave. However, last year I decided that I would definitely take the plunge and I was really looking forward to going to Dubai. The plan was, I was meant to go at Christmas time. I was meant to go in November actually. November, coronavirus and all this and then there was a time where I was able to go on a flight at that particular time. And then I held back because my daughter Robin and the grandkids said, please mum, don't go. <laughs> please Nana, don't go. Just wait, so I decided that I would wait until in between Christmas and New Year. I would take the grandchildren, but of course that didn't work out. And then we had another bout of coronavirus, numbers going up and all the rest of it. So that was me saying, well okay, I've resigned myself to go in January. Even got a hat for Christmas, big summery hat to wear, it's a bit floppy, I got it from my Jamie, I don't know what she was thinking because I've got such a small head that this is going to be, well, I think she was trying to protect my skin because it is hot in Dubai. <laughs> but it's quite huge. Anyway, I could get lost in here with a nice gin underneath. That would be perfect for me. Anyway, how did I decide to accept that I'm not going right now? The time is not right. So we have to wait until the time is right. People have lost their weddings. People are really disappointed and there's nothing we can do about it so we just have to wait. What you shouldn't really do, don't get too down in the dumps. I'm trying to keep upbeat. I'm looking forward to other opportunities. When things like this happen guys, there's nothing you can do except move on, do more exciting things. I've been in property for the last, I keep saying 12 years but I've stuck on 12 years. I reckon I've been in property now for 14 years. As I said I've been getting opportunities all the time and never took anybody up. Now that I'm at the grand age of 50 something, 50, 50 something, then I'm thinking, well, and I'm super single and all my children are all grown up and left me now. I still want to be mum, I still want to be nana, I still want to be here but I still want to inspire. And something that they could maybe leap to as well so if they got an opportunity they would never be frightened they might fall in mummy's footsteps but also last year what i did during the first lockdown i decided to go on the herbal life nutrition and this has been keeping me ultra busy now it's not to say that when i go over to dubai that i'm going to forget herbal life because i'm not because i am really feeling the benefits of using that product so i would never not use my products what i'm really hoping that i can do is use the products when i'm over there i'm going to take all the products with me and i'm going to sell houses over there i'm going to be super excited just wanted to let you know what my plans were for the future and if you're feeling disappointed in life then there's nothing you can do about it <laughs> definitely sympathize with you just tell you that you have to just do nothing, don't get angry, don't cry, you just have to get on with it. And what I keep thinking about is, I'm really lucky that I do have an opportunity and I'm really lucky that I've got the Herbal Life Nutrition here as well. So it's great to be doing more than the one thing. And you know what this has taught me? And it sure has probably taught you exact same, is what I've learned from this coronavirus is that we can't, take things for granted. We have to learn to accept. I think we've learned to be patient. I think we've learned the appreciation thing. I think we've learned to be grateful for our families. And I think that we're starting to get a bit more sort of closer. Is that right? I think the world's changed completely. 
and I think maybe my thoughts last year have changed to how my thoughts were this year. Last year I was chasing money, this year I'm not chasing money, this year I'm more about health and wealth. That's my top thing is looking after my health so that I'm here for a very, very long time. So who knows what will happen? <laughs> Let's wait and see. You never know, the world is your oyster. So when things happen, then it's been shelved for a little while, but I'm starting to get excited about the future again. Let's hope I do eventually get there. And I'm sure if Dubai was meant, it's meant, it's on the cards. If it's not, then it doesn't matter, does it? As long as you've got your family around you and you're happy. So it kind of left me a bit, a bit of a quandary for a while because I had my house up for let, then had a lot of viewers view the house online and then it's went from a lot of viewers to actually nothing and it's went from getting the house all decorated, moving things about, getting rid of all my clothes and everything like this and really organising myself to go to Dubai. When that happens, your mind's sort of busy, busy, busy. One minute you're going <laughs> on a flight, next minute you're not going. It's quite unsettling and it is disappointing, but that's fine. It's... It's something to look forward to in the future. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Lots of love. I hope everybody is fine. Do take care during this lockdown. Please don't get down with it all. And do remember, if you are enjoying these videos, to subscribe, like, and share. And do not forget to hit that little bell for all your notifications. Thank you so much. See you Sunday, where I'll be doing a video on bikini time for Dubai. Keep it a positive note. The bikini's there, the little cover up as well, and the hat. So keep it all very positive. See you soon. Bye, lots of love.